Mist Valley Arts and Entertainment. Passion Burns. Help us be a bonfire for your soul. Welcome. Welcome to Conversations with Dread. Today I'd like to talk about why February 25th is important to me. Ninety-nine years ago, a great man took his first breath on planet Earth. He had humble beginnings. He grew up in a tiny farming community in rural Alberta, Canada. His parents had started that farming community, moving with their children at the time in a covered wagon, making the trip from Oklahoma to Alberta, answering the call of free land for experienced farmers. It was virgin, untouched land, and they and a couple of other families settled and worked the land, building farms the like of which would help support the burgeoning, growing population of Canada, bringing much-needed foodstuffs to the nation. It would have been a hard life, the life that my grandparents chose. By the time my father was born in 1923, times were still tough. He was born at home because there was no going to the hospital, and visits from a traveling doctor would have been few and far between. I've been told that he was a short boy, very shy, and was teased when exposed to the children of the next nearest town. He worked hard on the farm, perhaps trying to prove that he could do more than his stature should have let him. Schooling was a long way away, a long walk away. And farm life didn't make things easier as far as education went. Dad oftentimes did not have any shoes to wear, and his clothes were always previously used by one or more of his older siblings. My father was the second youngest of 12 children, and he slept on a mattress of stuffed straw with a candle or a lantern for light. A little better than sleeping in a barn. It's hard to even imagine a life like that. Dad lived through the dirty 30s and the recession, seeing tough times for his family get even tougher. At 18 years old, he was off to England to be stationed on a Canadian Air Force base, fighting for democracy and freedom during World War II. He never talked much about those times, and the few times he did, it was with many tears in his eyes. He lost a lot of friends and comrades in the war, saw a lot of terrible things that he could never unsee. When the war ended, Dad lived in a literal chicken coop on his brother's farm, shoveling out the chicken crap and putting white paint on the walls with wooden boxes for furniture. He married a woman who was with child, worked two jobs night and day trying to bring in the money his family needed to survive. He eventually got into the fur farming business, first raising mink to sell, and then traveling cross-country as a highly successful buyer for a major corporation visiting fur farmers across the nation and buying up their goods for the Hudson's Bay Company. That little shy boy, born at home on a farm, was now traveling across the country with an office in the big city of Montreal. And he and his wife had also adopted two girls. Dad was proving himself to be a man among men, much stronger on the inside than he might seem to be on the outside. More tough times were ahead, as his wife passed away from cancer. Left with small children at home, Dad met my mother and married her, and he moved on into the next phase of his life. Through it all, he never let anything get him down for long, never let anything keep him down. He just kept working, kept believing, and kept on going. That comes from stubbornness and drive, I believe, but a large reason for his success in life, for sure, is directly proportionate to his faith in God and his relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, everyone has a differing opinion and experience with religion, and you are all welcome to have those opinions, but I am simply going to tell you the truth. My dad's faith in the goodness of the God of the Bible saw him through every rough time, every tough time, and every opportunity that came for him to give up or despair, he simply overcame and moved on. If I consider my dad to be a strong man, he 
Yes, I do. Although he was at the same time extremely gentle at heart. But I also recognize that most of his inner strength came directly from his belief in his relationship with a God who loved him. I was and am the youngest child of my parents. Every child is different, but I am well aware that I was not the easiest child. Fear and anxiety ruled my life, and still does. I would have been a very hard child to understand, a very difficult child to build relationship with. Mental illness is a relationship killer, as I've discovered in life. My parents did the best they could, and I honor and salute them for it. But back to the reason why I started doing this, the reason why February 25th is so important to me. 99 years ago, on February the 25th of 1923, my father was born into this world. Without him, I obviously wouldn't be here, wouldn't have been born. Yes, my mom played a part, a big part in this as well, but this is my dad's birthday that I'm focusing on right now. Truth of the matter is, there's much more to it than this. I didn't realize it until I was a young adult, but my dad was my biggest cheerleader in life. I can look back now and see how hard he prayed for me as a child and how because of that, I believe that God looked after me and kept me safe. As I became an adult, I can see how much dad looked forward to my visits, to discussing both spiritual and more earthly matters with me. I can see how much he would listen to what I had to say, how he would advise me, and how even when he didn't like the choices I made, he still made sure to let me know that he loved me and was in my corner. Without that, without that in my life, that, without that advice and support and unconditional love for that my dad heaped upon me, where would I be today? Honestly, I probably wouldn't be anywhere. I needed that in my life desperately, and he provided it. I don't think I would have made it if my father had been anyone but who he was. I know I wouldn't have. It was that important to me. I've missed that since he passed away. He passed two, two months short of his 91st birthday. But he left me with a foundation in place. He not only showed me that I am worth something, but introduced me to the God who says the same. And that has enabled me to get by, day by day, one day at a time, without him physically here. But it hasn't been the same. And I miss him. Not just for what he provided in my life but just for the shining example that he was. He was a good man, and he was my friend. I'm thankful for all of those who have come alongside me and helped me over the years, especially those who have been in my life as supports and supporters since my dad passed. But I still miss my dad. I feel like I was stronger when he was around. So, February the 25th, an important day to me. Today is the 99th anniversary of the day my father was born. I still celebrate his birthday because although he isn't on this earth anymore, he still lives on. And I will see him again one day and rejoice greatly when I do. My father, my friend, supporter, and my hero. He gave me life. He helped me survive in a life that was very difficult for me. He introduced me to a loving God, and then he moved on, his job done. Without him, I would not have been, nor would I have made it this far if he had not been there for me. Dad, I salute you. You did a damn good job, and I thank you. Happy 99th birthday, Dad. See you soon.